today I'm with Dave Richardson from Advanced Engineering UK Limited. You've got to stick around for this video if you want to know how long this part tape or took to machine. Uh, now the story here, what I want to find out is th these, are, these are machined on Mazak machine tools, but I want to find out more about the process of, of, of actually creating this. Now Dave, we have to start by saying that Open Minds Piper Mill software is responsible um, for the development and the programming of this part. Yes. Uh, Firstly, tell us about that. How, how do you go about something this sophisticated actually getting it ready to be machined? Well, the, the biggest problem to start with is when you get the inquiry to quote something of this size from a solid, it's kind of a bit of an unknown territory, really. So we're using our experience of the guy that's doing the programming, how long it's going to take the program, cycle times. Quite easy to make a mistake, not not necessarily on on the machining, but actually on that planning and that costing. On the planning and the costing, yeah, it's difficult. Obviously, the billet itself, like you're probably talking maybe a thousand pound for the billet. So once you once you've costed all that, um, you've obviously then set about programming this. Yes. You've done this using Hypermill, the software. How long did it take to actually get this ready to be machined? You're probably talking around about 12 to 15 days to do the programming on this. The way we work here is as soon as we've got something ready for the machines, we will start cutting the job because uh, the, the machine will cut and the guy that's doing the programming always stays ahead of the guy doing the cutting generally and setting up the machine. What, what, I'd almost be quite fearful of taking on a job like this, but what I'm led to believe from the market is that Hypermill will make that easy, will actually eradicate that fear. How experienced do your guys have to be using the software? How long does it take to learn to be able to uh, you know, get a program ready for something like this part? It, it probably takes really months and months of and that's work. not bad, months and yeah, months, is yeah. it, when you think? Yeah, yeah and, and learning all the cycles, because there's multiple different cycles you can use. And it's uh, the experience of the guy that's doing the program as well. It's the tool selection to do specific features as well. Have you ever been involved at a, an in-depth level on the software? I haven't personally, no. We, we, we've got uh, four guys here that are capable of programming, sort of full-time programming. What material is this? Uh, it's aluminium 6082 T6. Okay, and do you use Hypermill software throughout your factory, or is it dedicated to just the more complicated uh, work? Throughout the factory, really, whatever component comes up, whether it be a small component, a large component of this, a casting. Have you found that, I mean, traditionally, engineers do think of Hypermill as being you know, perfect for this, but maybe not necessarily good for just, just more simple parts, but that's not the case, is it? You can use it across the board. Use it for anything, really, the turning, whatever you want to use it for, really. Uh, okay, hit us with it. How long did this take you to machine once it had all been done? To machine that was around 65 hours, actual cutting time. Okay, and how many machine tools did you have to use to do that process? We used around four machine tools for that. Uh, and how on earth did you maintain the positional accuracy throughout that process, moving the part around? Because that would worry me as well. Yeah, well, we, we make uh, specific steel fixture plates for these, which are skimmed on the machine, it's gonna be done on, and dowels put in, and we locate the part accurately on the fixture. And, and, and on occasions we will move the fixture from machine to machine so that the, the component stays on the fixture. And is the reason this one's here because you didn't succeed and you scrapped it? No, we, yeah. We, we, I'm not yeah, suggesting yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we always have to, um, you know, when you get to the end of something like this, you, you don't want to be in a position where you've made a part and it's no good. So we always tend to have a spare in place. Good stuff. I'll tell you what, absolutely fantastic part. If you want to see more applications like this, you need to subscribe to MTD's channel. And that's right, did you say 65 hours 65 to machine? Hours. 65 hours complete. That's it from me here at Advanced Engineering UK Limited.